Well, with those temperatures dropping, a lot of folks are going to be using space heaters to try and keep themselves warm tonight. But do you know just how fast one of those things can catch fire and what precautions you need to be taking if you're using one? Eyewitness News reporter Marla Carter is live now to show us. Marla? Well, Gina, the major concern here, of course, is that space heaters can be very volatile. In fact, the space heater caused this house to catch fire in northwest Houston, killing a woman and injuring another man. A very sad situation here. And just to show you how volatile and a, much of a fire hazard those fire those space heaters can be, we got the help of firefighters who helped us set one on fire. Watch as this space heater burns up, sending toxic smoke into the air. This all happened in just six minutes. With the help of the Cypress Creek firefighters, we put towels and cotton on top of the space heater to show how quickly it can burn. In three minutes, we saw smoke. In six, we saw flames. But it's really important to keep anything that can burn three feet away from any kind of space heater. That's important because this heater was new and has a lot of safety features in place, but it still caught fire with the right material. When we placed this wool blanket on the heater, it singed it but didn't set the heater on fire. Another tip, watch where you put your heater. Anything that's a flat, hard surface, so hardwood, tile would be great. Carpet I would be just a little leery of just because it can burn. Also, watch where you plug it in at. So if you are going to use a space heater, make sure you never, ever plug it into an extension cord. You want to plug it straight into the wall. Firefighters say a space heater led to a fatal fire in northwest Houston and was the possible cause of an apartment fire Monday in the Fifth Ward. It can happen fast, which is why the fire marshal is asking you to take every precaution you can so this test isn't a reality for you or someone else.